God is love. His love is a merciful love. He loves us with mercy. The God of mercy, he does not tire of forgiving. We are the ones who tire in asking for forgiveness, but he does not tire. Anyone who approaches the mercy of God does not go with empty hands. Instead, they receive the mercy of God. This is what we see in today's gospel. A woman who was brought in front of Jesus goes back with peace and joy. For Jesus had touched her heart with the mercy of God and that made her to begin a new life of holiness. In today's gospel, we find three persons with the three attitudes. The first group is the scribes and the Pharisees who brought that woman who had been caught in adultery before Jesus. Although they were also sinners, they hide their sins and they want to find fault in others and accuse them. The Pharisees and the scribes were sure they were right, but through the words of Jesus, they were able to understand that they too were sinners. Whenever we try to judge others, let us remember the words of Jesus. Let anyone among you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. The second person is a woman. She knew that she had done wrong. The woman expecting to be punished for her error received a lovely acceptance from Jesus which must have left a lasting impression on her. This is the sacrament of confession. Knowing that we are worthy to be punished, we admit our sins and with sorrow we approach the mercy of God. Like that woman, we too return with peace and joy. A meeting with Jesus is always life-giving experience. As he himself has said, I am the way, the truth and the life. Then we see Jesus who is the human face of God's love, mercy and compassion. Dear friend of Jesus, who do you most identify with yourself in this story and in whose position are you standing in life? The Pharisees and the scribes, the woman and Jesus who is always ready to forgive? Mercy is a choice to love. The minimum of love is justice. There is no justice without love and no mercy without justice. Justice without mercy is injustice. Let us pray. Lord, you who opened the ears of the deaf and the eyes of the blind, let me hear your words of forgiveness. Let me see and believe in the possibility of a better life. Amen.